focus on local Chicago artists. That's really kind of our forte. We do a lot of emerging artists. Um, many of our artists actually live and work in the neighborhood. And then we kind of just want this to be a cultural space where we do all kinds of events and programming from gallery rentals, um, weddings, um, performances, music performances. We do a big outreach for nonprofits. Uh, we really think it's good to engage the nonprofits. They have their fundraisers here, and it's great for them too because anything that they sell at the, um, their event, we do a kickback to their organization. We have a really range of work that we um, represent. Uh, we don't want to be a gallery that you come in and you feel like you can't touch anything, you can't talk. Uh, we wanted to have something where anybody comes in, they would have something that they could take home. So we do have a large range of originals that are very high priced, but also um, prints of that work um, starting as, as low as $30. Um, the owners of the gallery, they really wanted to make sure that art is accessible to the community and young collectors especially. Um, that way they can have something to take home. Um, we change out our exhibits fairly often. We have like probably six major exhibitions throughout the year. Um, and those run for about five to six weeks. When those shows are up, we have um, our other artists represented on the walls. And so we'll change those as pieces sell, as we get new work in from different artists. We like to keep it fresh. We also get um, really high-end clientele from downtown, the Gold Coast, when they, because Wicker Park is a shopping area, so they like to come out here and get more of a neighborhood vibe. Um, I definitely think we're special compared to other art galleries in Chicago because we really do focus on the local Chicago talent. Uh, many of the galleries, especially in the River North or um, West Loop area, they get um, they bring artists in from like the East Coast, the West Coast, um, very uh, mainstream artists almost. Uh, but we really focus on a lot of the emerging talents. Wicker Park used to be a destination where, where all the artists live because there was affordable rent. It was like kind of a community setting where a lot of people, the kind of artists like work together, they would be able to kind of spin their ideas off one another. I guess since it's gentrified, a lot of people have moved out. However, there is still a strong presence of art here. The neighborhood's definitely a lot of more corporate names are coming into the area. It's really developing. Um, it didn't used to be just as nice of a neighborhood. Um, and as that happens, I think art will become more important and it really makes quality of life better. And we're hoping to make sure that we are that go-to gallery for everybody to see what's happening 